Welcome to the introduction of operating systems. In this module, we will cover the definition, history, and evolution of operating systems. This will lay the groundwork for understanding how software interacts with computer hardware. An operating system is a crucial piece of software. It acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the user. It manages the computer's hardware resources and provides essential services to applications, allowing them to run smoothly. Key functions of an operating system include resource management, providing security and protection, and offering a hardware abstraction layer. Think of the operating system as the conductor of an orchestra, making sure each instrument or hardware component plays its part in harmony. The operating system sits between the user and the hardware. On top is the user layer, below the operating system is the hardware layer. Between the layers are the applications. The components of operating system are shown as smaller circles inside the operating system. Operating systems perform a variety of critical functions to ensure the smooth operation of a computer system. These include process management, which involves creating, scheduling, and terminating processes, as well as managing CPU time allocation. Memory management allocates and deallocates memory space as needed by programs and tracks memory usage. File system management organizes and tracks files, managing file operations such as creation, deletion, and access control. Device management controls peripheral devices, handles device communication through drivers, and manages input-output operations. Security and protection safeguards system resources from unauthorized access and implements user authentication and permission systems. Finally, the user interface provides a means for users to interact with the computer through command line or graphical interfaces. The history of operating systems can be divided into several distinct phases. In the 1940s, computers operated without operating systems. Programs were entered using punch cards or plug boards, and only one program could run at a time. The 1950s saw the introduction of simple batch processing systems where programs were grouped in batches and executed sequentially to reduce setup time between jobs. In the 1960s, multiprogramming was developed, allowing multiple programs to be loaded into memory. Time-sharing systems like CTSS and Multics enabled multiple users to interact with the computer simultaneously. In 1969, Ken Thompson and Dennis Ritchie at Bell Labs developed Unix, a portable multitasking multi-user operating system that would become highly influential. The evolution of operating systems continued into the modern era with significant advancements. In the 1970s, the microcomputer revolution led to CPM, control program for microcomputers, becoming the standard operating system for early microcomputers. Apple DOS was developed for Apple II computers. The 1980s marked the personal computing era, with MS-DOS dominating the IBM personal computer market. Apple introduced the Macintosh with its revolutionary graphical user interface. Unix variants continued to evolve in academic and research settings. In the 1990s, Windows 95 brought graphical user interface to mainstream personal computer users. Linux was created by Linus Torvalds as a free Unix-like operating system. Internet connectivity became a standard operating system feature. From the 2000s onward, mobile operating systems like iOS and Android emerged. Cloud-based operating systems and virtualization technologies transformed computing infrastructure. Real-time operating systems gained importance for Internet of Things devices. Operating systems come in various types, each designed for specific purposes. Batch operating systems execute jobs without user interaction, processing programs in sequence without interruption. Examples include IBM's operating system 360 and early mainframe systems. Multi-user operating systems allow multiple users to access and use the system simultaneously with resource allocation and protection. Examples include Unix, Linux, and Windows Server. Real-time operating systems are designed for applications requiring precise timing and high reliability, guaranteeing task completion within specific time constraints. 
Examples include VxWorks, QNX, and RT Linux. Distributed operating systems manage a group of independent computers, making them appear as a single coherent system to users. Examples include Amoeba, Mock, and Modern Cloud Infrastructure. Let's explore additional types of operating systems. Mobile operating systems are designed for smartphones and tablets with touch interfaces, power management, and mobile-specific features. Examples include Android, iOS, and Harmony OS. Network operating systems are specialized for network services, managing network resources, security, and communication between devices. Examples include Novell Netware, Windows Server, and Cisco IOS. Cloud operating systems are designed to run in cloud environments, managing virtualized resources and providing services across networks. Examples include Google's Chrome OS and cloud-optimized Linux distributions. Embedded operating systems are compact systems designed for specific devices with limited resources and specialized functions. Examples include FreeRTUS, Embedded Linux, and Riot OS. The core of an operating system is its kernel, which comes in different architectural types. A monolithic kernel runs all operating system services in the kernel space, providing high performance but less stability, as a crash in any service can bring down the entire system. Alternatively, a microkernel has a minimal kernel with only essential services. Most operating system functions run in user space as separate processes, improving stability and security at the cost of performance. In monolithic kernel, all the services like process, memory and file management reside inside the kernel along with the system call interface. In microkernel, the user mode services, file systems, device drivers and networking and message passing are separate. Only the microkernel sits between them and the hardware. Beyond monolithic and microkernels, there are other operating system architectures. A hybrid kernel combines elements of both monolithic and microkernel designs. Some services run in kernel space for performance, while others run in user space for stability. An exokernel provides minimal hardware abstraction. Applications use library operating systems to access hardware resources allowing for customized operating system functionality and maximum performance. In hybrid kernel, some user mode services are separated out, while the core services like memory and input-output management remain inside the kernel. In exokernel design, secure multiplexing interface sits between library operating systems and the exokernel. Modern operating systems are evolving with several key trends. Cloud-native design involves operating system architectures optimized for cloud environments with containerization and microservices support. Enhanced security includes hardware-backed security features, sandboxing, and advanced permission models to protect against threats. Artificial intelligence integration provides built-in artificial intelligence capabilities for resource optimization, user experience personalization, and security. Virtualization enables native hypervisor support and hardware-assisted virtualization for running multiple operating system instances. Cross-platform convergence offers unified experiences across devices with adaptive interfaces and synchronized services. Real-time capabilities ensure low-latency performance for Internet of Things, edge computing, and time-sensitive applications. Operating systems continue to evolve to meet the changing needs of computing environments and user expectations. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.